Peace, infinite waters diving deep once again. We are out here, baby, in nature, first thing in the day, 10 best mindsets to start your week. Let's just, whoo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Glorious day. We've got the birds everywhere. Now, there are two kinds of people in the world. The first person is like, ah at the start of the week. And the second person is like, yeah. Which one are you? Are you ah? Or are you like, yeah? Oh, you're like, ah? <laughs> Don't worry about it. We ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello there? The week rolls faster than you think. It rolls around faster than you could have ever imagined. But it's here. What are you going to do about it? You're going to cry? Or you're going to get up? Or you're going to smile? What are you going to do? So let me share with you what's helped me along my journey. The 10 best mindsets to start the week, okay? The first best mindset to start the week is to say this. This week is going to be whatever I want it to be. Like, I have the power literally to make this week into the best week, not of the year, but of my entire life. Is that, is that too much to ask? Well, it's possible. Because I realize, like, if I set my intention that this week is going to be glorious, marvelous, stupendous, amazing, brilliant, it probably won't be. It probably will be. Okay? Your intention, your intention is so powerful. I meet a lot of people who are like, Ralph, I rolled out of bed. And I looked in the mirror, Ralph. Okay? And I said, what? Ah! Was that you? Okay. So I've realized this, that your intention creates reality. Have an intention that says this. This week is going to be as wonderful as I say so. Whenever I do that, it usually turns out pretty okay. No, pretty great. What are you talking about? <laughs> What's the second best mindset? to start your week, baby, baby, that's helped me along my journey, is to say this. This week, I forgive all of my crappy actions from last week. <laughs> you see, so many of us hold our past against us. And that's why we don't really get the week off to a good start because we're still crying over what happened last week. Look, I realize yesterday's history Tomorrow is a mystery. Today is a gift. That's why it's called the present. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Like you really, really got to forgive yourself this week. If you want a really great week, forgive yourself. Have a light heart. Let go of any grudges. Okay? And that's really what's helped me along my journey. That's why I always start the week off really well with a cat down the road. What's the third best mindset <laughs> to start the week? Now, what's helped me along my journey is this. This week, <laughs> I realize, I am going to realize that I'm doing the best I can. Oh, you're not? I thought you were, okay. I'm not gonna be so hard on myself this week. Like sometimes, just sometimes it's okay to do nothing. It's okay to relax. It's okay to have me time. It's okay to go for a walk with the cat down the road. Cause so many of us, we're always caught up. Soon as that, as soon, as soon as it's the start of the week, we're rushing, we're racing. Like it's not a race for goodness sakes. Oh, it is. It's a human race. No, it's not like, oh, it is for you. Okay. We got to do something about that. Like slow down right? I had to slow down. And this week, I'm not going to be so hard on myself, right? That's how to get the week off to a good start. You see, once you place so much pressure on yourself, you create a lot of resistance. That creates a lot of, yeah, yeah. that creates a lot of expectation. You're like, this week, I'm going to do this, 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 and you don't do any of it. I've learned this, that it's good to have a whole load of expectations about how the week should be. 
Okay, that's good, but don't place so much pressure if you don't fulfill all of those expectations. Like, one expectation you had was to go to Brazil, the second one was to, what, climb Mount Everest, the third one was to, what? Come and see Ralph Smart, oh my gosh. Look, a lot of expectations. Are you gonna fulfill them all? Probably not. A lot of us, we have a lot of priorities. We have a lot of priorities, we don't have a priority. So what I love to do is, say, what I love to do is to say this, I'm not gonna be so hard on myself, okay? realize that as long as you're trying you're not failing you're not even trying so you are you are failing right now right so realize this as long as you are giving it a go you're doing your best don't be so hard on yourself that's why a lot of people mess up their week before it's even started because you're like oh i should have done i, I should have done it this way ralph i, I should have done it that way well you didn't it doesn't matter. Don't be so hard on yourself. Guess what? You live to see another day. Wait a minute. I'm still here. Can I get a hello? Yeah. What's the fourth best mindset <laughs> to start the week? That's helped me along my journey. It is this. This week, I am not going to be a slave to circumstance. The shitty job I'm in, if I don't like it, if it's making me unhappy, bye. Where'd you go? You ran like really fast, right? Quicker than Bolt, okay? You don't have to stay there. A crappy relationship, you don't have to be there. Don't settle. You are so worth it. Do you know how many people would love to be in your presence? Actually, just the cat down the road. That's another story. Look, <laughs> I've realized this, that sometimes we feel stuck and i did for a long time because sometimes it just feels like life is passing you by real fast on the freeway and you're like wait for me and life's like no sorry i got i got places to go right so i've realized this that no matter how bleak the situation looks you are never a slave to circumstance nobody is holding you there i realized along my early journey that i can create the life i truly want and that happens when you realize that actually I'm not stuck. I'm not a tree like this beautiful willow tree. I'm not a tree, though. I can actually move to wherever I want to go. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Oh, you want to be a tree. Oh, that's pretty cool, right? What's the fifth best mindset to start your week, baby, baby? Seven day vegan challenge. Now let's talk about it because i always talk about the seven day vegan challenge i'm here to tell you that what's helped me along my journey is to realize to start your week off really well it's not about having the perfect diet or getting the perfect body it's about making a small improvement to your diet every single day that's good for you okay so even if you're not a vegan but if you are cutting out processed meats, that's a good start because we talked about that yesterday. That's a great start, <laughs> right? If you are eating more plant-based foods, your fruit, your veg, getting your antioxidants, your vitamins, your minerals, that's a good start. Like you don't have to have this super perfect diet like in 24 hours, that's just not practical, right? Like the lifestyle I've been doing, the plant-based lifestyle, I've been doing it for 13 years and every single day I realize that it's still not perfect. Okay, I'm not a saint when it comes to eating. Okay, and you don't have to be a saint. You just, what I've seen, you just have to like make one food improvement every single day. One could be today I'm just gonna eat a whole bunch of grapes. Second improvement could be I'm not gonna start like comparing my body to other people's bodies because their bodies they were photoshopped anyway right that's not even a fair comparison what are we talking about <laughs> right so i realized to start the week off well stop comparing your body to everybody else's 
on social media because once again that's just the illusion they don't even look like that right start appreciating your own unique body start realizing you are so much more than just this body anyway you got so much more to offer okay and start realizing when it comes to food you don't need to have this perfect diet okay you just have to make one small improvement and then you're weak it becomes so beautiful <laughs> what's the sixth best mindset to start the week well now what's helped me along my journey is this this week i'm gonna make room get over move over right for new energy okay let go of the old energy the energy that's been bringing you down even if it's coming from shabby friends shoddy family members we don't need that like I always tell myself this week I have to talk to a complete stranger. Oh, actually, not that person, right? Someone else. Bring me someone else, right? Okay. You never know what to expect when you speak to a stranger. You never know what to expect when you speak to a stranger. But it's fun, right? Because you might just meet the woman of your dreams, the man of your dreams, a friend for life, right? A friend for life. Okay. So I realized that this week, I, I'm always like, it's time to, it's time to make room. It's time to make room. It's time to make room for new energy, baby. And that means you might have to let go of certain friendships that aren't serving you. People in general who don't bring you anything. Like I used to hang around people and we didn't really do much for each other. Okay. And I realized it was time to make new yeah it was time it was, it was definitely time it was time to make new room for new energy like i got a whole new room in my house and we got new energy in there right now okay when i'm walking around i'm open to receive new energy i'm not just talking to the same kinds of people because once again you don't really grow you got to start expanding your social circle if you're into health make friends with someone who's into business okay if you're into business make friends with a cat down the road and if you're the cat down the road well make friends with an alien right <laughs> so expand your social circle that's how to make the week even better now what's the seventh mindset to start the week well what's helped me along my journey is to do something different this week i gotta do something different because so many of us let's face it we get caught up into a boring ass routine and a normal life is boring same route to work same time on the computer right so what i love to do is like reverse everything okay like i'm going in reverse right now and it feels so good i'm not gonna like walk the same route every single day we don't need to do that actually the pr the view is pretty awesome i just might okay but i've learned this if you can do something different every single week you are gonna learn so much more about yourself you see the reason why a lot of people don't like their lives is because they're doing the same thing every single day just like that okay it's time to stop press pause right bring more excitement into your life what i love to do is to realize that every 21 days we form a new neuro pathway from doing different things our brain changes based on our experience so if we are having lots of different experiences well we're getting a whole new brain can i get a hello there that was different right okay that's how to really have an exciting week, get it off to a great start. Now, what's the eighth mindset to start the week? Now, what's helped me along my journey is to realize this, like this week I say to myself, I will see what I have to work on myself. Like what areas I have to work on myself, right? What can I improve about myself? I'm not perfect. I'm definitely not a saint neither are you neither is anyone ain't no saints around here so when i look at myself i'm like okay what could i really improve i can improve so much but i'm only going to focus on one thing right now 
I can improve like traveling more. I can improve like waking up even earlier, right? <laughs> I can improve like just letting go even more and not caring what other people think. Okay, I've done three. You better give me your list. Ain't getting away so fast, right? So this week, always ask yourself, what can you improve on? How can you go to the next level? You see, every new version of yourself will require, it will require a new you, right? Every new version of yourself will require a new you. You can't be doing the same thing. So I'm like, okay, what can I improve? What can I modify? I'm turning into a smartphone. I need to upgrade right now, okay? <laughs> now, what's the ninth mindset to start the week well? The ninth best mindset. Now, what's helped me along my journey is this. Okay. I always say this, I am not in competition with anybody else except the cat down the road. I'm only in competition with myself, okay? I see so many people all the time, like people message me and say, Ralph, it's not fair. They look like this, I look like that. You gotta learn how to accept yourself. So this week, I will accept myself 100%. I will not compete with anybody else, I will cooperate with other people. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. You see, there's a big, there is a big difference between competition and cooperation. Competition is when everyone's all for themselves, real survival, I gotta win. Cooperation is like, hey, we all can win. We all can win, we all can win and you all lift each other up, baby. You don't want to do that? Okay, I'll do that, right? <laughs> Everybody is so unique. Really, it's not a race. That's what I've seen along my journey. So this week, I'm reminding myself, this week, I am reminding myself, let me see who I can collaborate with. The cat down the road, cool. I might even collaborate. I might even collaborate with you. Keep your fingers crossed, right? <laughs> What's the 10th best mindset to start the week. What's helped me along my journey is to say today, this week, <laughs> this week, I gotta learn more. Like, I think I know something. You see, enlightenment is knowing how much you don't know. And that's what I realized along my journey. Like, I got so many books I haven't read yet, so many Kindles, like, on my smartphone, I haven't even touched, opened, right? Looked at, but, <laughs> I will, I will get around to it, right? So what can you learn more? Like sometimes when you think you know everything, you get a rude awakening from the universe that you don't know shit, right? So I gotta read more this week. I gotta watch great documentaries. I gotta watch Infinite Waters this week, right? I gotta learn more. I gotta like learn more about life, okay? Because the moment you stop learning is the moment you stop growing is the moment you're finished, right? So I never feel I know everything. In fact, I know nothing. I know nothing. And that makes me wise. So there you have it. The 10 best mindsets to start the week. Feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello there? And there you have it. We are out here in the heart of nature, baby. Have a beautiful week, deep divers. We're just whoa, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Have a beautiful day. Infinite waters. Diving deep once again. Stay well. Stay healthy. Peace. You. <laughs> this week is going to be the best week of your life, says the cat down the road. <laughs>